guys, welcome back. So somebody asked me to review this NYX brow mascara. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm just gonna get right to the point. I actually really, really like this stuff. Um, when they asked me to review it, I was like, yeah, I don't really use tinted brow mascaras because my eyebrows are naturally very sparse and on the outer tail, it doesn't grow in very thick at all and it came to the point for a while where I was actually just shaving it off that way I can just really shape my brows the way that I wanted to and it was easier to do like a straight brow or a really dramatic brow if I shaved off the outer half of my brows so that's what I was doing and they're starting to grow back in now but with the tinted brow mascara I was just really not <laughs> excited about it because I was like this is not really gonna do much of anything for me so um, I bought it from Ulta and I've been using it every day for the last week and I actually really like it a lot. Surprisingly, it filled in the sparse areas really, really well and especially like in this front area right here in the front of the brow, it's really patchy for me just naturally. For me, this is not a product that I can use alone because I don't have enough hairs on the end of my brows for this to be the only product that I can use. Um, I do need to use a pencil or a pomade on the outer corner or on the outer tail just to get that shape. Otherwise it like stops like right here, which you will see here in just a second. But other than that, I can completely do the front half of my brow anywhere where there's hair. I can do that with this brow product. If you have nice thick shaped brows and you don't have to worry about you know, shaping them with a pencil, then you could definitely use just this. Um, I believe it comes in three different colors and this is the brunette. So you can see here on the left hand side I have shaped my brow with the pencil and on the right I haven't added any product. But then if I keep it like this and then just add the gel you can see on the right hand side I still don't have a tail so that's why I have to go in with the pencil and add that. And another thing is normally when I do my brows I set them with the Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel and that works great. It makes your brows like super duper like rock hard. It's like hairspray um, when you put it on so your hairs will not budge. I wasn't in the market to try anything new because I liked that brow gel a lot but this surprisingly keeps your brows in place all day and it makes them a little stiff of course you know it, it needs to in order to actually keep the hairs in place but um, they're not really super hard but it keeps your brow hairs in place all day long. Uh, I have some specific brow, brow hairs on the top and on the bottom that like to go <laughs> in like different directions and this keeps them from doing that. Even like eight hours later I've noticed that my brows are just still perfectly groomed and all the hairs are in the place where I put them. And this is the packaging that um, it came in when I found it at Ulta but they also had a separate display where it was just the little tube of the mascara without this little box. So you can get it either way. I believe it was $7.99 and it's 0.22 fluid ounces. Let me zoom in here. It's really even. Um, it doesn't look patchy at all. It's just a nice finish to the brows. So um, one thing I do like about this is I don't really look, okay, I like to have kind of sculpted brows, but I still like them to look like eyebrows. I don't want them to look fake. I don't want it to look like I shaved my eyebrows off and just completely painted them back on. I like you to be able to see texture and hair, um, especially in like the front of the brow area right here. So with this brow gel, it, sorry, um, you can do that. You can still make your brows look pretty natural. So you could still see all of the individual hairs, but fill in the sparse areas at the same time. So that's it for today's review, you guys. I hope you found this informative and helpful. If there's anything else you'd like me to review, go ahead and leave that down in the comments, and I'd be happy to take a look at that. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye!